Hey guys, Chad Trofgerman here. Today we are going to look at the 3D Rotation tool in Adobe Flash CS4. The 3D Rotation tool basically allows us to create a 3D-esque look to objects that we draw in Flash. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is this tool is only available in CS4. And so make sure you have CS4 before you uh, attempt to do this. So anyway, let's begin. The first thing I am going to do is simply draw a rectangle on the stage for us to work with. So I'm just going to go over here to the rectangle tool located right here and just click that. And I'm going to have no lines. You can choose to have stroke fill colors, but I'm just going to leave that blank at nothing. It just will be a little easier to work with. And for the fill color, you can choose whatever your little heart desires. So once you have those two options selected, just come over here to your stage, click, hold, and drag, and draw a rectangle. Now in order to use the 3D rotation tool, we need to have our object be a symbol. So just simply go over here to your selection tool and click that, and then come over here to the rectangle you just drew, and then just click it so it's selected and then go ahead and hit F8 on your keyboard. Now we can go ahead and convert this object to a symbol. So for the name, we can just go ahead and name it Rectangle. Just really quick. And then for the type, make sure it is a movie clip. For we will need it to be a movie clip in order to make it work with the 3D rotation tool. Once you have that, just go ahead and click OK. Next, go ahead and select the 3D Rotation Tool. The 3D Rotation Tool is located right over here on the toolbar. It is the fourth tool down. So with your symbol selected, just click it to make sure it's selected. Go ahead and select the 3D Rotation Tool. Once that's selected, you'll see that we have some colored lines up here on the object itself. These lines actually represent different ways that you can adjust the 3D-ness of the object. The orange line, the orange circle, basically allows you to rotate the object in any direction. There are no restrictions. If you put your cursor here on the blue line, this is the Z-axis, and you can only adjust the object on the Z-axis. The red line is the x-axis, and the green line is the y-axis. These restrictions are good if you only want to rotate on a certain axis and don't want to get into any of the other axes, or axes, or whatever that word is, when you are doing this. So, for this demonstration, I'm just going to put my cursor on the orange line so I can rotate it in any direction. And you guys can mix, mess with the certain um, line types if you choose to on your own time. So with my cursor on the orange line, I'm going to go ahead and click my mouse button down, hold, and start just moving my mouse in any direction. And as you can see, as I do this, the object rotates in a 3D-like manner. Now this is obviously useful if you want something to look, well, 3D. And there are a couple of different things we can do with this actually. So the first thing of which obviously is I can rotate it like this. However, if you want, you can actually move the object so it appears that it's like on a 3D plane, which I will show what I mean by that by going over here to the 3D rotation tool and holding my mouse button down. And when you do this, you have access then to the 3D translation tool. So go ahead and click that tool. Now you'll see that we have something different appearing on the object. We have two color lines going vertical and horizontal. This, and we have actually, we also have a colored dot in the center, which is the Z axis. Basically, this allows us to move the object as if it were like on a 3D plane basically, as I just said. So if you come over here to your red line 
you'll notice that is the x-axis. If you click, hold, and drag, you'll notice as we do this, the object moves, but it also like does, as you move it, you see different sides of it as if it were actually 3D. The same applies to if you use the Y axis. As you move it up and down, you'll notice that you can see more of the side of it as you move it down, and you can see more of the bottom of it as you move it up. And the Z axis, of course, allows us then to zoom in and out. So again, really cool stuff here. And it's actually really neat that you can actually do this in Flash. Before you could actually mimic some 3D stuff with the tweening and all that with the um, free transform tool, but this makes it a lot easier and a lot more dynamic. And so with that, I will bid you guys farewell. If you'd like to see more tutorials, more advanced tutorials, please check out my website, incredibleflashtutorials.com. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I will see you guys next time.